Hi there everyone, it's Joy back with another Inspiration Friday with Fleur. I'm going to start by showing you this traveler's notebook that I purchased off of a store on Etsy by the name of The Cake Papery. It's a fabric traveler's notebook that I use for the Lister's Got a List challenges. Now I have no affiliation with the Lister's Got a List challenge brought to us by the Reset Girl. I just happen to really like the challenges and it gives me something on a daily basis to do that's quick and easy that I get to use my supplies with. So here's a look at the Traveler's Notebook. It is fabric and I actually have it upside down so I'm going to be flipping it around. I only recently started doing these Reset Girl challenges so I have a book for October and it's not complete. I pick and choose these challenges when I do them. I get inspired by some of the prompts and I go ahead and make a page. I do go back and finish off the book and I number the pages before I get started. So each of these books has blank pages in them. I tape down the Lister's Got a List prompts on the inside cover and then I go through and create some of the pages. And this month, because I'm inspired by Lyle Conkar, some of the style that I'm taking from her is to use some die cuts and scrapbook papers as you see here. Let's check out some of Lyle's pages. I found these images on Lyle Conkar's Instagram feed. She does post quite a bit of inspiration so try to head over there and check it out. So the page I'm going to be working on today is the ombre paper on the right hand side here. I thought I'd show you some of the collection that I'm using. I love this collection. The papers are awesome. It's the Cedar Lane collection from Pink Paisley. I store whatever bits I think I might use with the Lister's Got a List challenge for the month in this iris container that I've purchased at Michael's that has a small tray in the top for small embellishments and then the papers are stored underneath. I really love the puppy stickers that are included with this collection. That fox is so cute. I also have the ephemera pack and die cuts and those are acetate and there are also some more foxes in there which makes me happy. And this washi tape book that has gold foiling on it and I'm really enjoying including that in this book. I have a stamp set of leaves that I've pulled from my stash and used some coordinating ink colors. Some washi tape because you know I have a lot of it. So here's a look at the pages again that I started with. Again I don't always do them in order so these are actually the first three challenges of the month for November. So off camera I searched through the die cut pack and found the banner and the floral. I stuck the clear label prompt onto the banner die cut and also cut down a white piece of cardstock to three inches by four and a half inches. I pre-wrote my list so I knew how much space I needed and now I'm going to go through and actually just stick things down. Now I normally use a trusty glue stick to stick everything in these books but I've run out so I'm going to use some double sided tape or the liquid adhesive that I've shown. I'm going to move into fast forward again and put the page together. Now in the process of watching this video back I remember why I like using glue sticks over double-sided tape. Those finicky contact papers just always seem to cause a problem for me. Anyway, I'm going to move on to searching for some die cuts and I go through the package, I find a couple and they don't actually end up making it on the page. I do end up stapling one below the fabulous. I round the corners on the card and then I'm going to come up with the idea that I would like to have some bullet points next to each list item. These are some stamps that I like using on the pages. I do date each and every one. So I don't have a small circle stamp so I'm going to use the end of an unsharpened pencil which means that the eraser is in great condition. I'm just testing it out here with the black but I'm going to decide that's a little bit too heavy and that I'm going to go with some gold ink instead since the die cut flower 
has some gold glitter on it as well. Here's a look at the page once I've gotten all the journaling down and the bullet points done with the gold ink. I am going to do the final touch, which is very much a Lyle Conquer standard. Um, she does like to use a black pen to outline things, and I have to say, after doing several pages with this, I really do like the finished look. I'm going to go over each of the lines a couple of times on the outside just to give it a little more of a messy kind of feel, and then that will take care of this page. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out another Inspiration Friday video with Joy and Fleur. Be sure to check in the description box below for the link to Fleur's channel and check out how she was inspired by Lyle Conkar this week. Take care, and I'll see you next time.